Alright, welcome back. We're still playing Ninja with our friend right here, Emerson, I believe. Him and our best friends. I let him win because he needs it. <laughs> this girl likes to sing. Oh, we got a painter. I oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. That does look like me. He's a very talented artist. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah, well, we're gonna be in, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's go, Dr. Come Hartman. On, this way? Now. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Alright, pause it if you need to read it. Oh, more friends. My oh, I know these guys. Killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. <laughs> I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. All right. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Nice. <laughs> oh, I like those guys. So, oh, there's a page in there. Okay, keep note of that. Actually, can I get there? Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah. Uh... Zane could feel the poems taking form shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we guys. We have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I nice. just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> I'm a bad dream and you can't wake up. Alright. 
Let's see if we can get that manuscript over there. Maybe later tonight when this place crashes and burns, yeah. Dude, you gotta break, you gotta put that paint in my room, man. If it's a picture of me. Fear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say. Hey, wake! Why don't you? The doors were locked. And give the Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was room. no way to get my hands on. Get to your room by those stairs, wake. All right, we have to somehow get their keys. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Interesting. Well, this is my room. It says wake on it. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. I gotta get the keys. Alright, let's go down. the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now! Are we? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. Well, the crazy old fart hit her hard. Fast, if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken destiny. all my manuscript pages. My That's store. where he'd be keeping them. I'm taking it. You know what? Let's go get the manuscript before I go into his office. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Come back to her, baby. I hope she's okay after taking a hammer to the wherever they hit her. Alright, looks like we can't go anywhere. Can we go out front? Nope. Okay. We have to go this way. Is Hartman's office? Not yet. Oh, there's a manuscript right there. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Right. Hartman wasn't happy. Maud could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Ooh, interesting. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs>
Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. I knew it. Get me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred! Seriously! Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? Barry? I Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that vet gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <laughs> okay, I knew it's all fake. These were all the pages I had on me, and more. Alan, please, you're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on, let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Okay. Oh. Son of a... What the... Oh, I need that page, though. Alright. I'm gonna see something, ain't I? Oh, I'm not enjoying this. Oh, it's growing, dude. It's growing! What the heck? Oh, hell no. Not dealing furniture, bro. Oh, I wanted to go that way. Oh, gosh. Front door. Bookshelves out of That's right. Way. That's right. Generator. Have the key. Have the key. All right. Hopefully, it doesn't throw too many stuff at us. Told you we were going to come back to this. All right. That's good. That's good. Alright. Can I get my manuscript now? Uh oh. 
jeez. Oh, dodge! Son of a gun. Why is the light off? Alright, we'll go this way. Yep, we'll go this way. Shoot, okay. What? There was something here. Flare. Gosh, darn it. Bears. Oh, gosh. Okay. The door. Where? What do I do? Flare? There we go. <laughs> oh, here. My manuscript. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. All right, so we know his motives now. Oh boy. Alright, checkpoint. What the heck? Where do I go? Alright, we need this ball to break this door for us and then we can go, but then uh, it might hurt us though. You know Alright, it's broken. Alright. Just have to dodge it. Uh, okay, here we go. We gotta go before it comes back up. Oh, we're not going this way. Here we go, baby. Yeah, before that ball gets us. Oh, oh, we have to control this ball to hit it. There we go. All right, we're going before this ball gets us. Oh, thermos. <laughs> Oh, we're going back for that for sure, man. Hey, come on. Get going. No, this place is my home now, man. Why are you trying to make me leave my house? I'm getting old. I'm tired of this. I feel like I'm going to end up over there for some reason and not catch over there. the car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mary, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Look at the house! Oh shoot! Heck no! Okay, we need a, this thing to destroy the gate. Open it! Now! I'm not kidding, you gotta open Okay, destroy the gate. Destroy the gate. Son of a gun! What do I do? What the heck do I do? Come up with something. Come up with something. It looks like it stopped. What is through this door anyways? Alright. have to have it smash the gate. Alright. Oh gosh! Darn it! Alright. Let's try this again. Oh gosh. Oh okay. god! Alright, this is gonna be close. Why isn't it working? There we go. There we go. Alright, 
Alright, checkpoint. I'll cut it here, guys. Bye.